Hey guys, so this is the last of the series, how to make your shots more filmic. This is the before, this is the after. Uh, it was shot at sunset, ISO 100, 1 50th of a second, super slow shutter. So I wanted to get a little bit of motion because she was flipping her hair and I wanted to, I wanted to capture more of a dreamy look. So let's get into it. Okay, what I'm gonna do bring the brightness just a little bit up exposure a little bit down so the difference between exposure and brightness is that brightness will kind of bring will affect the whole image so will bring all the details up in the shadows in the midtones and the highlights but mostly highlights uh, while the brightness will mostly affect the midtones okay so it's a lot softer Good. Um, I'm going to bring the brightness a little bit up, contrast a little bit down, mm, shadows just a little bit uh, uh, down, white point down, and maybe a little bit more of that black down. So we add more contrast. Cool. Okay. I, I really want to like put uh, focus in their eyes. That's why I'm bringing down the blacks. So it's a little bit darker cool exposure just a little bit up good i think it's moody enough now maybe i'll just bring up the luma to give a little bit more kick in the highlights around here these are actually not highlights if we look in the curve you can see by hovering over the image where that area is positioned in the curve section so uh, highlights should be somewhere around here. We have no highlights. Actually, these are midtones. But because the whole image is kind of like dark and moody, compared to the, the darkest points, this seems to be the highlights. So let's bring some green in the highlights. As you can see, that makes a whole lot of difference. And maybe some blue in the midtones. Mm, some... Mm some magenta in the shadows and that's pretty much it but one thing i want to do is maybe add more green around here also maybe make her skin tone more yellow cool so let's go into color editor press the three dots as we can see uh the red channel is is controlling uh most of the colors around here so that's what i'm looking for actually maybe a little bit of orange as well so what i want to do is just add more more green let's say to that part just like so so i don't think i will be needing this anymore yeah this is the before this is the after super fast super simple let's add some grain silver rich grain let's zoom in a little bit Yeah, I think that's pretty much maybe a little bit more. Cool. Okay, so this is pretty much it. As I promised, I will export each of these looks as presets and leave them in a link below for you to download. One thing to notice though is that no presets will work for all photos, meaning that each image has different colors and is shot at different exposures. So what I will do, besides the preset name, I will include exposure level they are supposed to be taken at and the kind of light they have been shot at. In this way, it will be easier for you to choose the right preset for your photos. I hope you enjoyed this short series and uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these to come out or if, you, if you're interested in more in-depth color grading. Uh, for example, how to choose the colors, how to analyze the shot, and uh, to get the mood that you want. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me on social media if you're interested in my latest projects. See ya!